Did you miss me? I missed me. I like this channel so much more, but we don't have time to reminisce. We've got to get down to business, and that's Baldur's Gate 3 with patch 7. Sorry to me a bit of time to make this video, but I really wanted to wait for a few of these mods to, you know, get updates. So now that we have updates to most of the mods, not all of them, but a lot of the mods, it's time to talk about modding with patch 7. It's like a lot of the previous patches where it updates and breaks a bunch of mods, and then we have to wait for the mod authors to create updates. So I think the confusion right now is that, you know, a lot of people are having issues loading their files. You know, you got all these mods, and you're using your mod manager outside of Baldur's Gate 3 and then when you get into Baldur's Gate 3 this pop-up comes up and it tells you all this nonsense and you start clicking on things and you're like ah what do I do so that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to talk about how that internal mod manager works and how it works with the external mod manager that we use when we're modding Baldur's Gate 3 and this process is going to be easier than you think I've seen some tutorials out there that say you need to go in and delete all these files and redo your Baldur's Gate 3 folder entirely or reinstall Baldur's Gate 3 from scratch and all that you don't have to do that there's only a couple simple things that you have to do. So let's get down to business and fix Baldur's Gate 3 with patch 7. All right, so we log in, we've got these exclamation marks now, and we also have something called Mod Manager. Now you open this up, accept everything, and you can see now we have mods inside Baldur's Gate 3, and you can search for mods. This is doing the exact same thing as the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. You can use that if you want to later, but right now we need to fix, you know, all the problems we have. Getting everything up to date is a tedious process, but it's gonna take like an hour and then playing the game is gonna be hours and hours and hours of fun, so it's worth it. First thing we need to do is just update our Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager uh, GitHub page. Scroll down, you'll see releases, then click on that. Scroll down and then just click to download the latest. I've already done this, so it's gonna be a little bit redundant, but there we go. Now we need to unzip this into the same folder as our old Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. So there's mine. I'm just going to drag and drop all these files in there and just let them overwrite. It's totally fine. It's not going to mess up your configs. It's just updating with new stuff. All right, we can close that out now and open up the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager because we'll use that as a way to jump into all the other stuff we're doing. So here's all the stuff. I've already updated mine, but I'll show you how we do this. So if you've got a whole bunch of mods here and they're not up to date, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to try to update every single one of them. And if one of them is out of date, then it's time to delete it. And before I go through all these mods, I want to explain to you what's going on here. So if you click on the shortcut up here, see the little open mods folder, open that up. There we go. Now when you log into Baldur's Gate 3, you might notice that Baldur's Gate 3 has its own mod manager built in. And they're both using the same mods. So when you click on this Baldur's Gate 3 mod folder, you'll see a bunch of mods here. If you download mods inside Baldur's Gate 3, they're going to go into the same folder that we're accessing right here. So they're all going to go into the same place. I would recommend picking one or the other to be like the master of your mods. So I'm going to continue using the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager because I've got all the not safe for work mods that I like to use, which are not permitted, uh, probably not permitted in the Baldur's Gate 3 thing because Sony is weird about that. So anyway, there's all my mods. Now I've seen some, some tutorials that tell you to delete all these mods. You don't have to do that. You just need to delete any old mods and we can do that manually. One thing we do need to delete is our mod information file. So just go back to Baldur's Gate 3, this folder right here, click on player profiles, and inside public, you'll see something that says modsettings.lsx. If you just look at this, this, this will show me all the mods I have installed. See, it's just a you know list of all the mods. There's improved UI, there's better hotbar, there's basket equipment. They're all right here. You can manually edit this if you're crazy, but we don't need to do that. Now, the reason I'm talking about this file is because both the internal mod manager inside Baldur's Gate 3 and the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager that we're using right here, they both use this file and they both update it. And it can get confusing. If you've clicked yes or done anything or pushed, put any check marks on Baldur's Gate 3 you know, mods inside the game, well, it can create a mess. So let's just click on this and delete it. It's gone now. And now I'm going to go ahead and close this. Once we get our mods in order here on Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, then we'll click Export and it will make a new copy of that file that we're going to leave alone afterwards. So how do you get your mods all updated? Well, it's tedious. You just got to do it. You got to like say like, all right, this one, improved UI. I've already updated mine. But what you're going to have to do is come back over to the Baldur's Gate 3 Nexus right here. 
and just start searching for some stuff. So I'm going to do improved UI. There we go, improved UI. And look at that beautiful thing, patch seven ready. So go ahead and manually download that. And once that downloads, you literally just drag and drop. Well, you already, I'm sure you already know how to do this, but all you got to do is just drag and drop that file into here. So before you do that, one thing I like to do is, let's say you're downloading an update for a certain mod. Well, I like to click on this mod, press the delete button, and it'll say, do you want to delete, delete this permanently? Yes, I want to delete this permanently. And you delete it. It's gone. Now what that's done, if you look at your shortcut right here, it's removed it from your mod folder. You were able to do that without having to delete everything in there. That don't waste your time doing that. So then I can come back over here to my downloads and drag this in. There it is. So there's the, the latest version. I'm going to put it back over here where it belongs. So that's what you're going to, have to do for each one of these. And then we can test. Now note, some of these mods have not been updated for patch seven. Some are going to work. Some are not going to work. If they say updated for patch seven, you're usually good to go. If they don't, it's going to be hit or miss and not all your mods are going to work. Now notice these ones right here, th these ones that have this has mod fixer, has mod fixer. I've noticed on patch seven, the basket equipment, the one with mod fixer does not work. So we're going to have to grab the one without the mod fixer, all these little things you got to do. So I'm going to come back over here and get the basket of equipment. If you click on the files right here, you'll notice that there are a couple different versions. This one says with mod fixer. This one is without mod fixer. So I'm going to grab this one. It takes a minute to download because it's big. So just wait on this for a second. But in the meantime, I know I don't want the old one anymore. So I'm going to delete this one and delete. And as of the new version, we don't need Dryad Jump anymore. This is like the thing that makes your creatures jump. So I believe that your creatures can jump without it. And then back to Black Shadow Heart Hair. I'm going to remove that one too because it seems like stuff with the mod fixers you know, causing issues. So I've got those out of the way. The stuff with the mod fixers are over here. As far as updating your script extender, you could just come up here to tools and click download and extract the script extender. The script extender is an older version by default, but whenever your game starts, it updates itself internally. All right, it's finished. So there's my basket equipment. I'm going to drag and drop this in here. It takes a second because it's a big mod. There we go. Now you see it over here. Drag it and make sure it's above camp clothing and underwear slot and all that. So now we have no mods over here with the mod fixer. We just have a couple here that require the script extender, which is totally fine. And now yeah, I like to click save and then you click on export. It updates your mod list. So we're good to go here. This is done. Now let's talk about your camera tweaks and WASD because these files are outside of the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. So I'm actually going to use the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager one more time to right click on the little Baldur's Gate 3 icon right there and do open game folder. And that opens us up into our bin folder. So inside here, you can see I have native mods, but I've already deleted them all because they're old. So let's get our new updates to our native mods and just drop them in there. So back over here on the Baldur's Gate 3 Nexus, we've got our native mod loader. I'm gonna grab that. This was updated uh, not, not recently, but we don't need a new version. I'm just gonna grab a new version anyway. Uh, native camera tweaks. This was updated on September 12th. So cool, we've got a new version of that. Download, slow download, yes indeed. And then we have our WASD movement. This was updated recently as well. As you can see, updated on the 10th of September, manual download. So I'm downloading all three of those. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the folder that they're in. There they all are. I'm gonna extract these one at a time, starting with the native mod loader. So it gives you a bin folder. So I'm just gonna go up one right here. So we're Baldur's Gate 3. And then I'm gonna drag the bin right in there and replace the files. You know what, let's do it this way. Next up, we have our native camera tweaks. Bin folder, drag and drop. Next up, we have our WASD. Bin folder, drag and drop, replace existing. I like to come in here to my native camera tweaks and do a couple tweaks. I like to change my rotation factor. So I like to do like 1.6 so it rotates a little bit slower and my mouse rotation, you must do zero if you go below one. So zero point, let's try six. My mouse is fast so that should be just fine. And then I don't like it when the floor stops my camera. I like to allow it to go under the floor. So unlock pitch limit clipping, I set to false. You can do anything you like, but that way I can zoom and even go under the floor. So I'm just going to save this, save. And now we can try the game. If you have any other mods that are in your data folder, you might want to mess with them. Sometimes you'll see um, some stuff here in like the, the public game GUI widgets. Don't have nothing in there. All right, let's give it a try. Load game and load. 
All these unresolved mod issues. Ignore hit start game. Yep, this is gone, this is gone, it's okay. Look at there. It's good to see you. And uh, let's see if see if Waz is working. And Waz is working. Yeah, it's working pretty well. Waz looks great. Camera mod looks great. All right, this is a beautiful thing. We got it working. I usually like to do a new save now once everything's working. But yeah, this is great. So you just have to wait for any of the other mods that you're waiting like for updates on. So some people have mentioned that some of the clothing uh, does not animate correctly now. So let's just see. Does it work? Yeah, it seems to be working. So I heard some rumors that with the latest latest mod that some of the clothing mods weren't animating correctly, but these are working just fine. So my goofy gith armor, I don't like her in a skirt. That looks weird. But yeah, it's working just fine. So there you have it. It's a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of just knowing what the secrets are. But hopefully you're back playing Baldur's Gate 3 and hopefully you got your old save files to work. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to make some time to like go through a few of them. But yeah. Now remember all the music that you heard in this video is stuff that I made myself. If you enjoy the music, well then by all means head over to Bandcamp. There's a link in the description for that. Grab yourself a copy or you can listen to it for free right here if you want to. It's also on Spotify and all that nonsense. But if you uh, actually care about the music, please support it here on Bandcamp because Spotify is not good for artists. Also, be sure to check out EpicPants.com. We've got a few things on sale over here. This is the mouse to play Baldur's Gate 3 with right here. Don't you want that Finnick Fox staring at you? Flawless gaming grade sensors. So we got this one on sale for half price today. Someone just bought three of these, so I got to box it up as soon as I'm done here. So cheers for that. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the comments.